Jeff, talk to me about what makes a company successful. I mean, because I know you've worked with some of the biggest names in the industry. You've been doing this for a very long time. So you've got a really unique angle on this because as you work with these companies, I, I bet from your own point of view, you see some of the things that they're doing well, things that they can improve on. With all of that that collected experience, what makes a company successful? Well, you know, Chris, we, we often hear, we have the newest sizzle compensation plan. Right, okay. Now, I'm going to have to say that um, a, co a good compensation plan and one that pays fairly and gives proper remuneration is a given. Yeah. You, you can't go anywhere unless unless you do that correctly. So we've got to have a good comp plan. It, it should be good and it should be fair, but I yeah. have to tell you, we have never... S a company that touts its comp plan is usually... Uh, that often is an excuse mm. for missing other elements. Got it. Okay. The, the driving force of success that we have seen with companies has basically been quality product and service, something yeah. that really stands on its own out yeah. there, something that distributors and consumers bond with. Yeah. They bond they bond objectively, they bond emotionally, they bond with it. So bonding to that quality product is really important. Secondly, the people who run the company, for better or worse, they basically, they are extremely important. Those distributors that were Mary Kay distributors, when they sat in an audience, Mary Kay spoke. Each of them believed that she was speaking directly to them. Yeah. There is no substitute for having a connection with the folks who are uh, at the top of the company and founded it. And third, their, their vision their vision about where it's going. What do they want to do? Do they want to do something good in the world? Is uh, That is very, very important. Uh, as a matter of fact, companies that, uh, that's why companies that do health products or companies that do transformational things about your financial situation. Yeah. We live in difficult times. These are things that resonate with people deep uh, because it affects their lives so deeply. Companies that basically do philanthropic things, yeah. that do charitable things. You'll notice that basically a company like Avon that does a march for cancer yeah. uh, research, why do their distributors and customers, they connect with that passionately. Um, when Mary Kay started, uh, started her company, people may have thought that she was in the cosmetics business. She was in the business of empowering women. Wow. That's what she was doing. So, so you're saying that there's got to be a, a, with the people that work there, there's got to be a vision, there's got to be a mission or a calling, something that's greater than any one person something that greater. everyone can rally around. And you know what? People always relate to something that's bigger than yourself. Yeah. I, 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 when I came here today, uh, just before we were going to film, I had a chance to be in your office. And, uh, and uh, who do I see on the wall but a picture of Babe Ruth. Yep looking up to the bleachers, hitting a home run. Yep. Now, there is a man who transcended all sport. Every person in America relates to Babe Ruth. There are times and there are people who transcend what they're doing and they basically give meaning, they make you feel good, they give you a purpose, they give you a goal, and they drive you to be a better person. Yep. Babe Ruth hit home runs, but he did much more then hit home. I'm assuming that's a reason that you put his picture yeah, he's a in guy your that office. Only, that he's a guy that only knew how to, 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 to hit home and runs and grand slams. These things happen only a few times in our lifetime will along come a John Kennedy yeah. who will inspire people. You can't explain why, but they will do it. And an MLM company that can do that, that's a very important. And the last, the last issue is, you know what? The, the, the amount of time and expense that you spend on training your field force and your leaders will be well paid because distributors who join companies not only need to relate and connect and bond with the people who run the company, they need to bond with the people who brought them to the dance. Yeah. And that's the leaders of the company, the sales leaders. And they basically are glue that hold everything together. So every, every ounce of strength and training and uh, every penny that you spend on really developing those people to really be able to lead is 
a good investment. So there's some great advice here. So so it comes down to having a, a good, fair compensation plan that can motivate the right kind of right. behaviors, the right kind of product that people can bond to, connect with. Absolutely. And, and that's an important need in people's life. You got to have the right kind of owners, the right kind of people that with the vision that want to do something greater than themselves. And then, uh, and then training, spending the time in making an investment into people to to train and help them understand more about the company, their own success, and uh, creating that opportunity for them to dance together. You have it absolutely right. Awesome, thank you.